students this is madhurima miss in today's video i will be continuing with bunku babu's friend written by satyajit ray earlier we uh, learned in my previous video that bunku babu was feeling very humiliated and tears sprang up to his eyes and he decided to uh, leave the meeting being uh, insulted he decided to leave the meeting let's see what happens from there on so Sripati Babu was actually asking him why he is getting up and he said yes it's getting late so Bunku Babu was saying that I'm getting late I need to go right now so we know what is the real reason real reason was that Bunku Babu felt very humiliated okay and uh, he can't take any more for that day so it was enough is enough for him right so Bunku Babu was getting Bunku Babu but didn't say that Bunku Babu didn't protest bonku babu didn't stand up for himself rather he said that he was getting late that's why he is getting up to leave this meeting late oh it's not late at all any way tomorrow is a holiday sit down have some more tea so who is saying this ripati babu is saying that why are you saying that you are getting late it's not possible for you to getting late why because tomorrow is a holiday so for what are you actually uh, getting late for what are you exactly getting late so tomorrow is a holiday so sit down have some more tea and so they are uh, sripati babu is keeping him holding him in this me uh, meeting so that he can make more fun of him okay if bonku babu leaves they won't be able to carry on with their tradition of teasing bonku babu so that's why he is asking him to sit down tomorrow is a holiday you don't you are not getting late for anything no thank you i must go who is saying this bonku babu is saying that no i must go i have some papers to correct now we all know that bonku babu is a teacher so being a teacher he is saying that i have some papers to correct namaskar take care bankuda okay so take care bankuda other members are saying wand ram ka nai it's a moonless night remember and it's a saturday very auspicious for ghosts and spooks everyone howled with delighted laughter so people were howling they laughed so hard it sounded like some jackals are howling some uh, animals are howling okay the the word is chosen very carefully everyone howled with delighted laughter why because bonku babu was trying to leave this meeting and sripati babu was trying to keep him in the meeting so that they can continue with their process of ridiculing making fun of bonku babu they can continue with that and ram kanai reminds bonku babu that try not to leave today because it's a moonless night and it is saturday so saturday is considered in many cultures very ominous day when uh, ghosts and spooks can come out and uh, they can uh, scare you it's a scary day saturday is considered in many uh, religious uh, sectors a very scary day when anything can happen ominous day so that is why he is saying first of all it's a moonless night there is no moon without moon there is total darkness so first of all it's a moonless night second reason it is saturday so try not to uh, try to be cautious okay it's very auspicious for ghosts and spooks and now everyone started laughing at bonku babu when ramkanai said this because last time bonku babu uh, was humiliated when somebody decided to play a prank on bonku babu by uh, creasing up like a ghost like a spook so that is why when the matter of spook and ghost came up again to the discussion everybody laughed bonku babu saw the light when he was about halfway through the bamboo grove so bonku babu was walking through the bamboo grove and he saw that there was a light okay poncha ghost owned that entire area that entire area means the area of bamboo grove okay the area of bamboo grove is basically owned by a person whose name is poncha ghost okay keep the name in your mind keep it noted underline this portion so that you can remain prepared for mcqs okay mcq can come from um, any portion of the story so that is why it's better to stay prepared while you are reading the story underline this portion now uh, bonko babu was not carrying a torch 
or a lantern so that also shows that maybe bonku babu uh, is not a person who protest maybe bonku babu is a person who tolerates always all kind of ridiculous activities all kind of uh, activities that are used to make fun of him but still he is a very courageous person because it's a moonless night it's saturday and bonku babu is not carrying any torch and he is walking through bamboo grove so that shows that bonku babu is not a person who gets afraid gets frightened very easily last time also when they uh, try to make fun of bonku babu by using a spook by getting up uh, uh, by getting up like a uh, by sprucing up like a spook uh, that time also bonku babu wasn't frightened he was we all know he was attacked by a spook and uh, his uh, condition was not good anymore right his uh, the condition of his kurta was torn and all the things happened we know but he whatever had happened he wasn't afraid he wasn't frightened here also we can see that bonku babu is not carrying a torch or lantern so this sentence shows that bonku babu is not afraid of ghosts okay so there was no need for it it was too cold for snakes to be out about out and about and he knew his way very well normally not many people took this route but it meant a shortcut from him so bonku babu is not afraid to take this shortcut even when people do not travel often through this bamboo grove through this uh, less traveled road bonku babu is not afraid to take this road since it is a shortcut for him so why bonku babu was traveling or walking through the bamboo grove because it's a shortcut for him okay in the last few minutes he had become aware of something unusual something unusual means something that doesn't happen every day so that drew his attention okay at first he could not put his finger on it finger to it means couldn't finger uh, couldn't put his finger to it means he could not point out exactly what is unusual he can feel he can understand there is something wrong there is something unusual but what exactly is unusual today that bonku babu can't find out and that is why the phrase is being used here he could not put his finger to it okay somehow things were different tonight what was wrong what was missing suddenly he realized what it was the crickets the crickets were silent not one was chirping usually the cricket sounded louder as he moved deeper into the bamboo grove today there was only an eerie silence eerie means awkward kind of a silence okay an awkward kind of a silence was there no sound of cricket was there usually when bamboo uh, when he uh, moves closer or deeper to the bamboo grove he can hear the sound of crickets but today there was no sound rather there was an eerie silence what had happened to all the crickets where they are asleep where they all are asleep so bonku babu is thinking what exactly might have happened that everything sounds uh, everything is so silent today no sound of crickets are heard okay puzzled bonku babu walked another 20 yards and then he suddenly saw the light at first at first he thought that a fire had broken out bang in the middle of the bamboo grove in the clearing near small pond quite a large area was glowing pink a dull light shone on every branch and every leaf down below the ground behind the pond was lit by a much stronger pink light but it was not fire for it was still so here we get to see that there is something wrong there is something happening first of all there was no sound of cricket hence there was an eerie silence awkward kind of a silence there and number 2 what we see there is a pink light everywhere okay so earlier we had already heard from ramkanai that it's a moon uh, moonless night there is no moon so if there is no moon in the sky from where this uh, this light is coming right so that's a very awkward uh, thing that bonku babu has found out now earlier he was unable to find out what is awkward what is uh, wrong with uh, what is wrong today he wasn't able to 
put a finger to it. But right now, Bonko Babu says that first of all, there is no cricket, no sound of the cricket, uh, crickets, and um, second thing is that uh, there is a pink light that can be seen everywhere. Every uh, tree, branches, leaves, leaves of the trees, branches of the trees, the pond, everything was tinted with a pink light. Okay. But there was no fire. So without fire, there is a pink tinted light was there. Bonko Babu kept moving. Okay. So even when all these things are happening, Bonko Babu didn't stop. He kept on, kept moving forward. All at once, his ears began ringing. All at once, his ears began ringing. He felt as if someone was humming loudly. A long steady noise. There was no way he could stop it. So his ears were ringing and there is no way he can control it. So something is wrong. But he can't understand why his ears, is, ears are ringing that way. He can't stop it. It is beyond his control. Bonku Babu broke out into goose pimples. Goose pimple is very equal to goosebumps. Okay. Like uh, when you are afraid, when you are frightened, uh, you get goosebumps. So goosebumps and goose pimples are very similar. But an ir irrepressible curiosity drove him further forward. Irre irrepressible curiosity means a type of curiosity. Curiosity, we know the uh, desire to know more. What is the desire to know the unknown? Okay, that is curiosity. Irrepressible means that cannot be repressed, that cannot be suppressed, that cannot be stopped. He wanted to know why, what is happening, and why that is happening. So he had this irrepressible curiosity in him that helped him to drive further, move forward. As he went past a cluster of bamboo stems, an object came into view. It looked like a giant glass bowl turned upside down, covering the pond completely. Bowl, we know it looks like this. I'm not a good painter, but I'm trying to show it. A bowl uh, may look like this. So when it is upside down, it looks kind of like this. Okay. When it is upside down, it kind of looks like this. So, Bunku Babu is saying that there was, uh, as he went past a cluster of bamboo stems, an object came into view and it lo looked like a giant glass ball turned upside down, covering the pond completely. So, you, you can understand how large that must be. If it is covering the entire pond, if it is covering uh, the pond completely, that means it's a very large object, right? It was through its translucent said that a strong yet gentle pink light was shining out to turn the whole area radiant. So whole area kind of shining with that pink light. As I had already mentioned, all the trees, pond, everything was tinted pink. Okay, the, there was a radiant, pink radiant was there. Not, not even in the, his wildest dreams had Bonku Babu witnessed such a strange scene. So Bonku Babu can't even imagine that this can happen. Whatever he is watching, he, it is actually happening in reality. He can't even believe that. Okay. After staring at it for a few stunned minutes, Bonku Babu was shocked. That is why it is said stunned minutes. Okay. Bonku Babu was shocked, amazed, um, awestruck, dumbstruck. Okay. He realized that although the object was still, it did not appear to be lifeless. So the object that he saw, he was watching in front of his eyes, was not lifeless. Means it was something alive. Okay. There was the odd flicker and the glass and the glass mound was rising and falling exactly as one's chest heaves while breathing. So basically... It wasn't a lifeless character. It was breathing. So basically we can guess that this is the alien we are about to uh, discuss throughout the uh, entire uh, story. Like in my first video I had already mentioned that an alien will come. And that alien is going to leave a remarkable effect on Bonko Babu's personality. So this is the alien. This is where 
question may come that uh, describe the moment when bonku babu saw uh, an awkward object okay the object that was uh, not lifeless so you have to describe you have to describe the entire portion here he took he took a few steps to get a better look but suddenly felt as if an electric current had passed through his body okay so he was we know that bonku babu is a curious person so he wanted to know what is actually happening what this life uh, what this life creature is it doesn't seem lifeless it is breathing so what is it actually so he was trying to know further and as he was trying to know further he was moving forward but he felt sudden uh, and an electric current had passed through his body and in the next instant he was rendered completely immobile immobile means he was unable to move his hands and feet were tied with an invisible rope as if somebody has tied his hands and feet and that is with in, invisible rope okay he felt that electric current and he is now immobile and he is feeling that as if somebody has tied him okay there was no strength left in his body he could move neither forward nor backward a few moments later bonku babu still fixed stiffly at the same spot saw that the object gradually stopped breathing all at once his ears ceased ringing and the humming stopped a second later a voice spoke shattering the silence of the night it sounded human but was extraordinarily thin milli peeping crook milli peeping crook it said loudly bonku babu jumped a little what did it mean what language was this and where was the speaker the next words the voice spoke made his heart jump again so fast fast what is the uh, what kind of communication he is able to hear right now milli peeping crook milli peeping crook he doesn't know what it means okay next what he heard uh, he heard that somebody is saying who are you who are you why these were english words so bonku babu is shocked this portion is showing how shocked how dumbstruck bonku babu is right now to hear somebody uh, speaking in his language in english words okay using english words but that somebody is definitely not a human being that is clear to him okay was the question addressed to him bonku babu swallowed i am bonku bihari datta sir bonku bihari datta he replied so what is the full name of bonku babu the full name of bonku babu is bonku bihari datta okay are you english are you english the voice went on so the voice is repeating each uh, question no sir bonku babu shouted back bengali sir a bengali kaista kaista is um, it is basically referred to the varna that we have uh, four varnas in veda brahman kshatriya vaishya and sudra so kaista is uh, kaista is a term that belongs to that varna okay so a bengali kaista this was followed by a short pause then the voice came back speaking clearly namaskar bonku babu heaved a sigh of relief and returned the greeting namaskar so now the alien is speaking in his language okay he is saying namaskar and bonku babu returned reply by saying namaskar he said suddenly realizing that the invisible bonds that were holding him tightly had disappeared so suddenly that all the uh, awkward thing that was happening like his ears were ringing he could hear some kind of humming sound and then he felt that some electric shock uh, was stopping him from moving forward he was immobile all of a sudden so all these problems are now going away and he can feel that he is free to run away but he did not because why because bonku babu is a very curious person by nature he wanted to know what is exactly happening right now now his astounded eyes could see that a portion of a, of the glass mount was sliding to one side and opening out like a door so now the basically that um a glass mount refers to a space ship okay from where the alien is coming out right now opening the door through that door emerged what emerged a head 
like a plain smooth ball and the body and then the body of a weird creature its arms and legs were amazingly thin with exception of its head its whole body this is the description of how the alien looks like okay this entire paragraph is about the uh, appearance of the alien okay so its arms and legs were amazingly thin thin with the exception of its head its whole body was covered with a covered by a shiny pink outfit instead of ears it had tiny holes on each side of its head on the face were two holes where there should have been a nose and another gaping hole instead of a mouth there was no sign of hair anywhere its eyes were round and bright yellow they appeared to be they appeared to be glowing in the dark so the entire paragraph is about the appearance of the alien okay the creature walked slowly towards bonku babu and stopped only a few feet away then it gave him a steady unblinking stare automatically bonku babu found himself folding his hands folding his hand means when we meet someone we say namaskar and how do we say it we say it by folding our hands so bonku babu is uh, maintaining that same greeting gesture okay so he was folding his hands having stared at him for a nearly a minute it spoke in the same voice that sounded more like a flute than anything else are you human so this is a conversation going on between bonku babu and the alien are you human yes is this art yes so bonku babu is saying yes and that alien is asking are you human is this art oh uh, i thought as much my instruments are not working properly i was supposed to i was supposed to go to pluto i wasn't sure where i had landed so i spoke to you fast in the language they use on pluto so mili piping crook is the language of pluto okay people of pluto so the why uh, where was he going where was this alien uh, supposed to go he was going to pluto his targeted landing uh, planet was pluto but by mistake there was something wrong with his spaceship and uh, he landed here on earth okay so the alien is saying that i tried to uh, communicate with you in the language of pluto when you didn't reply when you didn't reply i could tell i had landed on earth complete waste of time and effort it happened once before instead of going to mars i veered off veered off in he uh, instead of going somewhere he came to some other planet okay he went to jupiter last time what happened instead of going to mars he went to jupiter delayed me by a whole day it did he 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 bonku babu did not know what to say he was feeling quite uncomfortable for the creature had reached out and was pressing bonku bonku babu's arms and legs with its long bony fingers when it finished it introduced itself i am ang from the planet krenus a far superior being than man so basically the name of the alien is ang and he is from what pla- which planet planet krenus and according to this ang the alien they are their race okay they are superior being than human beings okay so basically this is where uh, bongo babu is actually meeting an alien last time he was asking why can't an alien uh, land in kakurgachi village and everybody laughed at him now see what is happening he believed that why can't things like that happen and now this is happening to him okay he is the person to meet this alien and uh, from this uh, meeting onwards what happens to uh, how this meeting uh, leaves a remarkable um, change in bo- remarkable mark in bonku babu's personality where we are going to see that in my next video thank you for watching my videos